we've got questions and guess what? We got answers. So do you want to put them up there so I can read them? Because I can't remember them all. Ooh, so cool. Let's Let me put my glasses on so I can see. I can, oh, I can see. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. We launched April 1st. What an eventful, exciting, super duper day. I mean, that was just, we just, oh, I can't even find the words. Um, but we're doing rides in Houston. In, that's Harris County. We've got Dallas, Fort Worth. We've got Fort Lauderdale. We've got, which is Broward County. I just wanted to make sure you know the regions. We've got Miami-Dade. We've got Tampa and Orlando. And if you'd like to be a driver, complete your registration. And if you have started your registration, go back into the app. Let's finish registering you and get you rolling. That's right. And you know what? I think, Angela, I think this is a great place to say that if anyone has enrolled in iBoomerang with a coach, business class, or first class pack, you already have everything you need for Vibe to recruit drivers and riders and to profit from helping to build a Vibe ride business. If you want to drive, that's a whole separate registration, but you are already, you already have access to this incredible opportunity that Angela and the team have been working on. Yep, they do. Just got to, if you want to drive, you got to register. Yep. yep. All right. I Ready feel like I need to do something. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. The questions. Your okay. questions are being answered. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. So, hey, folks, hold all of your questions about live rides until the end, okay? Because you're filling up the chats with questions now. <laughs> and, and Angela's probably going to get to your questions. So go ahead and hold those questions to the end. And then if you do put something in the chat that Angela hasn't answered, uh, what we'll do after flight school is over, we'll go back, we'll look at all of those questions, and, uh, and we'll maybe do another session at another time. All right, Angela, take it away. Okay, I'm ready. I got my notes so I can remember everything. So here we go. All right, these are prim related. At the beginning, we were told that once we have our customers, they would be our customers for every vertical. Yes, if you acquired the customer first, then they'll be your customer for all iBoomerang products. Okay, so the power of the priv, remember that. Okay, next question. Will iBoomerang be sending our customers the link for the app and notify them of our new service? or are we supposed to send the link to every single one of our customers? Yes, we will market Vibe to customers who live in those cities, only in the cities we operate in. However, you're more than welcome. Don't wait on us. Follow up with them if you like, okay? In the app for riders at sign up, it says that it's optional for the referral code. What is the referral code? TSA number, your referral code is your boomerang. So referral code is a place for the person to enter your boomerang code that you generated on your dashboard. So now I just want to jump in here, Angela, and just remind everybody, go back to the beginning. How do we get customers at iBoomerang? We use boomerangs, right? <laughs> so we use boomerangs. You have a boomerang widget on your dashboard that you use to generate boomerang codes that you can give to a customer prospect right and if you go there you can see that it has a drop down so that now you can generate three types of boomerangs and i go boomerang for travel a driver boomerang for vibe or a rider boomerang for vibe any of those boomerang codes will tie the appropriate type of customer to you. Do not use your TSA number. That's not how it works. Use a boomerang code. And oh, also you should know that for, for now, as we're launching Vibe, Vibe boomerangs are unlimited. They do not deplete your count. So you can send out all the Vibe driver and all the Vibe rider boomerangs that you wish. It will not use up your boomerangs. All right. 
last question on this page. How do I know that my codes are attached to my drivers and riders because I can't see them in my back office? If you use a boomerang to acquire the driver rider, they are currently they currently appear in your customers list. We are working on an updated report that will show you each customer that subscribed. In the meantime, if a customer has subscribed to both iGo and Vibe, they will appear twice in um, with different customer numbers. So they'll be there, but they'll be there twice because they are, they have an iGo and a Vibe boomerang. Yeah, the ops team is working on some new ways for you to, you know, you know, new and improved ways for you to see your customers. And we are working on a customer report where you'll be able to see the person's name and what they are subscribed to, whether they're an iGo customer or a Vibe Rides customer or both. Um, but in the meantime, they are there. They're just, you know, it's just not labeled very clearly. All right. The next slide. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> a driver registers, redeems a code, and they become a customer. If someone else registered the same driver a week later, does the driver belong to the TSA that registers him, her first? Yes, first come, first served. We have a track, we track everything in the system and it's time stamped. So if you sent out a boomerang first to that individual, it's yours, okay? So you're all set in regard to that. Don't worry, we've got it covered, we've got it covered, okay? Um, if you know that a driver, oh, did you want to add something? I, I do want to, I do want to, I want to go backtrack to, to what I said about the boomerangs being unlimited for, for Vibe. Um, I did want to, I, I, for, I forgot to mention that that is a limited time promotion, okay? That's not going to be forever that you have unlimited Vibe boomerangs. And so recognize folks, that's a promo. It's limited in time and it very likely can end very soon. So make sure you take advantage of that right now. If you know that a driver has registered a code, but it does not show yet in the back office report, are they still being tracked? Just so we know that they are connected to us. If we wait and still, and still is the same, should we send phone numbers and codes to check to make sure? Yes, all things are tracked. Like I, I mentioned earlier, we have a phenomenal system. Um, we have a great development team, an IT team, an IT team. They're tracking everything. All data will be stored. Check now to see if your drivers and riders show in your customer report. If they don't, have them go to the profile and enter their boomerang code. You currently have 60 days to do that. And in the, in the rider app, under my account, you'll see a little space there for the referral code in regards to the rider. And in regards to the driver, you click under my account and click on your profile. And the same thing will come up. There'll be a little space for you uh, to put your, your boomerang code in there. So you've got 60 days, 60 days. Okay, so how long do we have to get drivers and riders to put in their codes to connect to a TSA if they have not done so? As I mentioned before, We've given you 60 days, but it's normally 15. So take advantage of that. Get them to put the codes in so you, you're in there. At, you know, at least we've, we're giving you 60 days, so get on in there, okay? Don't miss out on that. If the driver has begun filling out the registration and leaves the code area blank, will they still be connected to their TSA? No, but... The answer is, as we mentioned before, you have 60 days to get them back in there, get them to go back into their profile and get that code in there, okay? Thanks, Mark, for doing that. Thank you, thank you. All right, sign up process. If a driver follows the registration process entirely, can they start driving right after they are done? Yes. As long as you complete the whole registration. So there's phases to it. And sometimes a few drivers were getting confused. There are phases. Our customer amazement team, they're doing a phenomenal job. Thank you so much, Frederick Ring, um, our director of, of, um, of the customer amazement team. Um, they are 
taking care of everything. They're watching all of the registrations come through. But remember, there's phases to that. So the beginning of the registration, you're putting in your personal profile, your information, your email, your name, your date of birth, your driver's license. That's the first phase. Then you get into the second phase. So before you get into the second phase, they've got to review all of your info. And then they'll send you a message via text saying you're under review. Once you've been reviewed and approved, they take you to the second phase. And the second phase is where you put in, actually go through the background check. You gotta finish your background check. So you're gonna get an email and you're, you've gotta answer that email in order to go through your background check. So once you've done that and you've paid your $33 um, for your background check, they will go, you go through the process. And again, there's a small waiting period for that. Customer amazement team will come in, review your background check, get you through that. Once you pass your background check, you will get into phase number three. And phase number three is where you upload all your vehicle information, your pictures, anything to do with your vehicle, as well as your 19 point inspection. And once you've done that and everything is, is great and, and, and you've uploaded everything, but if you haven't, your customer amazement team will let you know. Um, we'll, uh, you'll get a text message saying, hey, come on back. You haven't finished your profile. And that's what that means. So once you've done that, you get approved. And as soon as you get approved, you're ready to drive. So remember, really read those texts. It'll tell you exactly what phase you're in. And it'll tell you once you're approved to fully drive. Okay. Um, that was a long answer. <laughs> all right. You got it, though. You got, you got all the... <laughs> I have okay. I have a driver. Can someone come in behind me and sign my driver up for overdrive, or does he belong to the person who signed them up automatically? Well, you had him as a driver, but if someone comes in and signs them up for overdrive, they're their overdrive customer. Okay, so your customer goes into overdrive, so they don't belong to you as a customer any longer. So. And, and just to, to let me add a little clarity to that. They went from being a customer to to now being an ambassador because overdrive is really part is it's part of iBoomerang. So when that happened, the person really joined the business. So they're no longer a customer and they're no longer your customer. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that if you are in the process of enrolling drivers, make sure that they hear about overdrive from you. Uh, because they hear about it from someone else and they enroll with someone else, they're going to be that person. They're going to be in that person's business, not yours anymore. Thank you for that. Driver and rider payouts will be added to our monthly QV in the month drives and rides are taken, not in the month the drives and rides are taken. It takes time to get them through the system, right? There may be changes. It will occur, though, approximately 60 days or after. And that's when you'll start to see that. So be patient. They're going through the system. Give us some time to get them through the system. Make sure everything's all good. And then you'll, you'll definitely be seeing them. Are the drivers paid daily? Not initially, not at this point. They're paid weekly. They will see their earnings, but they will be paid on a weekly basis. Can we give codes to people that don't live in Texas or Florida as, as many visit, work, et cetera? Yes, many do visit. If you know someone that's working in the region that we are in, and remember, we have certain markets that we're currently in. If you know they'll be traveling or if you know they're coming to work or for any reason coming into those areas, absolutely, absolutely give them a boomerang. Most definitely, give them a code. Are they already driving and doing rides in Texas and Florida? Yes, we are. We're in those markets right now and we launched April 1st. Can we start promoting recruiting drivers in other markets? That's, that's, a, that's a good question. What do you think, T? I think yeah. everyone should focus on the markets that we're in. And you can do that from anywhere in the world. You can, you can recruit drivers in the current six cities, no matter where you live in the world. So for example, if you live in Australia, you can recruit drivers in Houston. You can recruit riders in Houston, in Dallas, in Miami, Tampa, Orlando, and Fort Lauderdale. Um, 
And if you know people, like you answered in the previous question, Angela, if they know people who are going to be traveling there, like for example, if you live in Germany and you know some folks are going to be taking a trip to or uh, to Disney World in Orlando, absolutely, let's make sure that when they get there, they're using five rides. So that said, you want to make sure that you do that. Now, someone said I was under the impression we were trying to build up other cities, so we need to get interest. You can collect interest, absolutely. Um, however, you know we, we're going to have a systematic plan. We do want to know where we have, you know, where we're going to go next. So you guys can certainly help us with that. But right now, we would encourage you to really focus on the cities that we're in. Absolutely. Great, great, great. Okay. How do I know my overdrive driver is in my back office in my binary? Well, a message gets triggered for overdrive as well. You will know when someone signs up for overdrive. Just it, that happens in iBoomerang. You get a message when someone joins your team. Same thing happens for overdrive. So you'll know when they're, when they're in there. How do I sign someone up for overdrive? Send to viveoverdrive.com and provide them with your TSA number. And that's where they go to sign up, put in your TSA number, and you're good to go. And I think that's it for the questions. Yay, that is awesome. That's awesome. And you know what? I just want to encourage everybody to get with your upline sapphires, rubies, and emeralds, and diamonds so that they can really explain to you the difference between the overdrive, coach, ruby, and emerald. Uh, so <laughs> coach Ruby, the overdrive, coach, business class, and first class packs so that you can really help people make the best choice when they're getting in so that they can get access to everything that we've got. Well, I hope we answered a lot of your questions. All these questions were coming in and we're trying to get to them all. And I hope we gave you some clarity today. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> and I hope we gave you some clarity today. So if you have questions, bring them in, send them to us. We will answer the best way that we can as soon as we can. So be patient. We'll get to you. Awesome. Angela, thank you.